Let's go to One Nation leader Pauline Hanson now and talk about some other topics. Uh, good to talk to you again, Pauline. I've got to ask you about energy prices because we had an astonishing admission today by the CEO of Alinta Energy, someone at uh, the very upper echelons of the uh, electricity industry in this country today, and he told us straight out that uh, forget about power prices going down, they're going to keep going up. Have a look. You came here for truths and straight talking about the transition, so here's a doozy. Australians will have to pay more for energy in the future. There we go. That just puts the lie to the nonsense we're being told by the government, doesn't it? Of course it does, Chris. I have been speaking about this and so have other people and so has, you know, Keith Pitts constantly talking about it, Matt Canavan's constantly talking about it, other people trying to be truthful with the Australian people. Your electricity prices will not go down. Hence, it affects industries, manufacturing, productivity in this country. That's why we've got a rise in cost of living. Until we wake up to ourselves and we actually get, you know, Make the decision. Go with nuclear. We have to. If not, keep the coal-fired power stations going. I looked at my electricity price the other day. I had to pay my bill. It's gone up more than double in the last two years. It is unaffordable for a lot of people out there. That's why we've got stress that people are on these plans, can't pay the electricity. It is an absolute disgrace in a country like this and it all comes down to the push for the climate change. The idiots out there, that keep pushing this. For what? Well, there's no doubt about it. And this Jeff Dimery said this. It doesn't matter which way you do it, because they're trying to basically rejig the entire system, it's going to cost us more. If you want to go down the renewables path, they're going to have to build seven times more generation than we've got already. And then, of course, it's going to be unreliable. So, I mean, you're right. You go down the nuclear path, we know there's going to be an expensive outlay on that initially. But, A, you don't need all the transmission. B, it's going to last 70 or 80 years. And, C, the electricity will be there when you need it. And keep the coal-fired power stations so we get to ourselves in line that we know what the hell we're exactly. doing, Chris. This yeah. is ridiculous. And, you know, the, the other issues that they're doing with this CO2, carbons emissions, I'll tell people now, we, we actually have emissions of 0.0003% of the world emissions. Wake up to yourselves, Australians. You're taken for a bloody ride here like sheep to the slaughter. Now, I've got to talk to you about population policy as well. This has been a, a key f issue for you since before you came into Parliament. The, uh, the current situation is, that is very much a mainstream issue. We've got record immigration at the moment. No one promised that. No one expected that. And, uh, and not much is being done about it. But uh, the Home Affairs Minister, Claire O'Neill, said this morning, apparently the government's on to this. Have a look. We had the borders shut for the better part of two years and as is normal after a border closure there was a uh, boost in migration for the year that followed. What's happened since then is our government has taken action to halve migration for our country. We are doing that because we want to make sure that we maintain support for this really important program. We're happy to have migration here in Australia but we want that to be sustainable. Yeah, so she says they're halving migration. Well, two points on that. They haven't done anything yet except talk about it. And even if you halved uh, the, the current migration rate, it would still be an astonishingly high rate. You'd still be talking about uh, a net gain of 250,000 people a year. It's an absolute joke, Chris. We can't sustain that. As I've said, we should have a net zero. The number of Australians that leave our shores bring in those number of Australia, you know, other people to migrate to Australia until we get the infrastructure correct. They're building 15... No, in Sydney, sorry. It's 15-minute cities in England, in Oxfordshire, but in... Australia, do you know they're going to build 30 minute cities in Sydney? You have the north, the central, and then you have the southwest. So you won't be able to go outside your 30 minute area of your tra travel. This is what it's all coming to. They're building high rises to pack all these people into it. Your land size has gone down to this little box shape. Forget the backyard, forget about the way of life that we had. Why the hell are we bringing so many people in the country? And this is Labor Party policy. They have opened up the borders to bring in all these people in the country that we can't sustain. Why are they doing it? And I've got a real problem that I always have with immigration.